Right then. Right then. <laughs> it's a very high pitched right then. It was. Evening all, and thank you so much for joining us for our Thursday night live. So already we see in the comments so many lovely, lovely people here. So um, thank you so much. Let's start. Uh, Nick was here right then. He said, "Thought I'd be early and get a good seat." And that was at what time was that? That was, that was at... ten past ten this morning. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I was twenty to four. <laughs> Ah, Kevin's here. Always lovely to see Kevin. Um, and if you've got any questions for us, we're here to answer anything about cruise travel, or if you want to ask questions about us, um, then please do. That light's still shining in my glasses. We can't get this light right, can we, Pauline? Well, we can, but it's not shining in my glasses. Like they are just no, in their own place. Anywho, so yes, yeah, so please do. Um, but if you've got a question before it, because if you've been to our lives before, you know that everyone in the comments chats amongst each other as well, and it's hard to pick out actually what the comments are and what uh, what the chat is. So, what are you doing? I think it's because you're only two foot seven. I put my chair up as well. I know. But then you... my feet couldn't. Ooh. Oh, it's gone down again now. <laughs> I got no two. <laughs> Uh, oh, there I am. Look, I'm high again. But now my feet don't touch the floor. Anyway. You, you don't get this from other top quality <laughs> cruise vloggers, do you? Oh, dear. Anywho. So let's see. So Will from the Shire is here. So let's see, Will. Third here, right then, Evelyn. If you had a choice between giving up cruising or giving up butterscotch angel light for life, what would you choose? Butterscotch angel delight. Well, it was horrible, wasn't it? It was rubbish. Mm, it was. I must admit, when the angel delight debate started i said at the time i'm sure i wasn't a fan of butterscotch angel delight but i do like werther's original which is very similar -y sort of butterscotch -y Ooh, Werther's, yes. but um all my memories came flooding back but as you would have seen from our stories i was going to make the, the chocolate angel delight on the weekend but i only had sufficient milk to make one either Angel Delight or two Yorkshire puddings. Mm. And obviously Yorkshire puddings went and they were delicious. They were. Polly makes good Yorkshire pudding, don't do, you? Yeah. So, um, so Rose is here. Let's see you, Rose. And David saying, uh, um, but Scotch Angel Delight would have to go. By the way, hello, one and all. Exactly that. Dave is also asking, first question, would you be able to resist the temptation to vlog on a cruise to give yourselves a break? We've got quite a good balance now haven't we, we have. poorly what I, what I what i like about my balance is i can remember when carol uh, answered the first question like four seconds ago and then she said right then the first question we just can't answer the question about angel delight like five seconds before that question do you remember that do you remember it <laughs> So, um, My head's not in the right place today. Uh, I've woken with a really sore throat a couple of days ago, so it's like coughing and stuff. It's not because the sun's in your eyes, is it? No, it's it showing on your so. glasses. Oh, <laughs> dear. So, um, no, I think we always want to share our experience on a cruise, don't we? But we've now got into a really good routine of, of saying, right, we've got to do a little yes. bit of work now, and now it's playtime. So, actually, it works well. And we know, we the don't, the, I don't ever feel... It really works well. The routine is, I want to do nothing... Carol moans at me incessantly till I do something, and that's the word, the routine working well. Something like that. <laughs> ah, Sherry's here. Always love to see Sherry, right? Then can't say the whole hour, but checking from Charlotte, North Carolina, where it's sunny and 71 Ooh. degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, Sherry, we're very jealous we're because very, very it's jealous. horrible and wet <clears throat> and cold in the UK at the moment. Well, so have, let's see who else here. I have been to sunny Bridgewater today. That was all right there. Yes, Paul's been to see um, Kangos Cruising in Lindsay. I couldn't go because we have a lady, which one treat when I retired, I've always loved a massage. And that's one of the reasons we used to go to Thailand a lot, wasn't it? To go, the massage was so cheap um, and, and good there, weren't they? So when I retired, I said, right, I'm going to treat myself to a massage. And we have a lady called Sam who's lovely, who does my nails. She's done my holiday nails, look. And she came in and gave us a massage today. She does a hot stone massage. So Paul went first, didn't you, today? I don't. I just, I just don't make it. Are you fiddling again? I just wonder if you're going to fiddle any. Well, it's just got your. I feel. I know. I feel. Know. I need to go up. No, it's not Maybe I need your height. Step. It's like constantly. It feels like you know when a car is driving towards you, where their lights on main beam. <laughs> That's what it's like looking at <laughs> oh. your eyes. But anyway, I forgot what I was saying now. Obviously, it didn't matter. So we've got a lady who comes around and gives us a massage. Yes. Why was I saying that? Because. 
You <laughs> don't know. Because you couldn't go to Bridgewater and meet Oh, yes. Because you That's were why I couldn't treatment. even booked it in with Sam and she was doing my nails ready for, for our Holly Bobs. We're off traveling again, uh, starting next week, and we're very excited about that. So she says that does sound cold. Yeah, it is. It's wet and miserable, isn't it? And Anne's here, so always love to see Anne and Mike. So even an old angel like would have, definitely have to go. So let's see. Ah, talk of the devil at Kengo's Cruising. Good evening, all. Nice to see you and Alan this afternoon. Don't worry, Paul. I won't tell yeah. Carol. <laughs> Ken can't be trusted. Ah, I think he, I already he, know Ken. He promised me. He said he knows I'm on a diet. And um, I think he's like Carol. He's a feeder. So, I'm not a feed. Um, and he said, oh, come to our house for a cup of coffee. And I got some nice chocolate cake. And I said, well, I can't have chocolate cake, Ken, because I'm on a diet. He said, don't worry, I won't Carol, I won't tell Carol. Well, he's already intimated <laughs> to Carol. So, of course, straight away, what, what, what? Well, you came in and said you'd had some lovely cake at Ken it, and it Linda's. Was, it was delicious. As so, was the um, coffee and the company. It was lovely to catch up with them. Today. Yeah, and, and Lindsay, to see the hug was well received yes. as well. Thank you. And to see um, Ken's dad, who whose 93rd birthday it was today. Mm, lovely. So that was nice. I shook his hand and wished him happy birthday. So, yeah, it was all I hear, heard about your big pie you had at the pub as well, Ken. Yes. That sounded awesome. So, yeah, so thanks, guys. That's uh, lovely. Barbara's here from a, a very wet high cliff near Ch Christchurch. Mm. Where? I said Christchurch. What did I say now? Christchurch, you said then. Like you were searching for Christ. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Barbara's okay. also asking a question. Are you likely to come to Southampton now on one of your meetups? Uh, yes, is the answer. And we're probably going to do one in May, aren't we? Because uh, for those who don't know about May, May, meetups, <laughs> maybe me. I'm saying, like, what's his name again from um, Open All Hours? If you say something, and then what I'll do is I'll you translate. translate. It. Yeah. For our patrons and YouTube members, we do. For our patrons <laughs> and YouTube members, <laughs> we do meetups. <laughs> we do meetups. <laughs> do um so we we've just done obviously if, if you've seen our social media that we've done so at the peak district um we've got one organized in um london for january so looking forward to that we obviously did it in canada we've done it in new york so um so well, that's one of the perks of uh, being a patron youtube members that we we meet you and we have a, a beer and a good good old laugh so um so yes barbara the answer to that is we definitely will and we're heading down to southampton in may uh two times aren't we so we'll, i'm sure we'll sort something around that Yes, we will. So Dan is here from uh, from sunny but cool St. John's New Newfoundland. He's a new fee. He's a new fee. So Don is asking, uh, where do you prefer to eat on a cruise? Main dining room or grab and go buffet? P.S. Still on Arvia, 19 days so far, leave on Saturday. Oh, lovely. Um, there's two answers to this question. If we're on our own, we're more likely to go to the buffet. But if we're with other people, we're more likely to go to the main dining room. But there's no <clears throat> there's no hard and fast rules. We do almost always go to the dining room if it's a gala night. Yes. Because I think that's quite nice. You're all dressed up and you get a bit of something special on the menu. Yeah. But there's, we're not really no hard and fast, but we're more likely to go to the buffet if we're just cruising on our own. And I tend to eat healthier at the buffet because I like the big salad bar and I don't feel that I have to have three courses. Um, so, yeah, we do like a buffet, um, but we do we like a combination, don't we? We do. Mm. So um, just seeing there's 189 people watching yes. already and I've got my little YouTube thing on. There's only 27 thumbs up. So if you do enjoy our lives, make sure you give well, us a thumbs up. What are you doing? People are not giving us a thumbs up because... Because um, of the light in my eyes. There's in your eyes. Is that better? Yeah, I think so. So, um, Andy and Carla's here. So, uh, talking about meetups, we met Andy and Carla. And, oh, it's um, better, actually. Then it is actually, isn't it? Why haven't we done that before? If I go like that, then. Well, don't go like that. I then. won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, we met Andy and Carla, which we had such great fun. So, um, so that was brilliant. Danny's saying, never heard of Angel Delight and the Cray for it, but it might be like asking a new phone and if they would give up Jig's dinner. Oh, what's Jig's dinner? Never heard of that, have you? Nope. Nope. So, um, let us know. Sure, Kevin should be able to tell us, shouldn't he? I'm sure. Yeah. Well, I'm sure Danny will. <laughs> well, Danny could, yeah. But well, I suppose, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Morris is point. here right there, and even everyone. So lovely to see you, Morris. 
And Kevin's in the house. Yo, 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 from yo, Sunny. Yo. Is it sunny, sunny Long Island? Because I'm nice. sure I thought we'd be getting cold now. Kevin's just got off the Oasis of the Seas, uh, where he said there was 10,000 kids on there. He said there wasn't <laughs> quite enough kids. Ah, but it sounded like you had a good time. Um, I definitely want to do that class of ship. I just want to get, see that pool at the aft and watch one of those water shows. Um, and then I can tick that off our, our list. So let me see you here, Kevin. And you kind of said, um, how excited about your very soon upcoming cruise? If it was me, I'd be giddy as a goat. <laughs> giddy as a goat. That's a nice saying, isn't it? Well, is that, do you mean giddy as a goat? Like them goats just go stiff and fall over. <laughs> they do. <don't> they? <laughs> I think that's one of the craziest uh, things I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, we're very excited. For those that don't know, um, next week we're off to, we're having a family turkey and tinsel um, event at Warner's Hotel in Home Lacey near Hereford, which we're looking forward to. We're taking Paul's dad, who's 88, and going with um, Lucas and his girlfriend, uh, Tess. That's, that's my boy. By yeah, the, my, my stepson, a poor son. And also <coughs> poor sister and husband and brother. So yeah. it's going to be a lovely, lovely Christmas uh, event. And then we're back for three days and then we're straight off to the Caribbean and we're going on Azamar onward with our very good friends, Bob and Holly. So we're thoroughly looking forward to that, aren't we? Yes, so, indeed. yes, we are giddy as goats. Giddy as a goat. <laughs> oh. David McGee's here. So love to see you, David. Just back from an amazing voice to Barbados on Royal Voyager. Loved it very minute of it, especially the transatlantic costume. Yeah, Good to know, yeah. Barbados on I love Voyager. We loved our transatlantic, didn't we? On yeah. it's so chilling, isn't it? Because you don't have to worry and um, think because port days can be very intensive, can't they? And very busy. So lots of sea days, which we thought we'd never ever say, would we, that we'd want six never days. Um, but we did. Anne's just Googled a jigs dinner. It's our British roast. Oh, oh, we love our roast. So, no, that never, we would never give up a, a jigs dinner. So, Andrew's here from Bournemouth. So, lovely to see you here. And Mark's Irving on decks here from California. Yay. So, lovely to see you here, Mark. And cruising gays from a, a rainy and gloomy Birmingham. What do I skip? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you usually do the accents badly. She always does them badly. So but. lots and lots of people here. So we've got uh, David here as well. Uh, Sean and Dave from Very Wet Anglesey. And Reese is here. So let me see Reese. Even an awful cold and dark Surrey. But PNC Brighton up on Thursdays. Ah, oh. oh, that's nice to hear. Thank you very much. So let's have a look. What's... So we're only, what, 13 minutes in and Carol's here ne nearly up to 7 o'clock. Question. Cruising the Canaries on Royal Explorer mid-December, but no excursions come up to be able to book yet. Is this normal? Um, it's late, isn't it? It yeah. seems late. It does seem late. That does seem late because it's mid-December. It's only a month away. It's cruise control, isn't it? You need to go. Yeah. Have that, you gone onto your cruise control on your Morella account? Now you've booked, you'll be able to book in or log in with your booking number and you should be able to see them there. So, um, and if not, I would just check with whoever you've booked with to to see yeah. because that is late. You should be able I, know, to do those. I know that when we did the Voyager, we had similar sort of thing. And then we spoke to Dan and Dan said, well, what you need to do is you need to log into cruise control. Yeah. And then stuff came out, didn't it? So try that. Try it and let us know. So um Yvonne's here as well. So been a cold and rainy day, hasn't it? Um, and Barbara's saying, yes, give us some thumbs up. We've now got 70 thumbs up and 208 people watching. So come on, people. Let's keep it going. Paul's here. So that's lovely. Oh, not me, no. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, and Alison's just saying, question, you're going on a med cruise in a couple of weeks. Which ship are you on? Oh, we're not. We're not going on a We're going uh, on a Caribbean unless that's, cruise. Unless that's a question to somebody else Someone in the else. chat. Yeah, maybe. No, we're going on a Caribbean cruise going we're flying into Miami and then we're driving well, we're gonna get a taxi to Fort Lauderdale, down, then we're doing a twelve day or I believe on yes. the Azamara onward. We are. And it's quite port intensive. I think it's about eight stops. Yeah, it? it's, it's a good, very good it? itinerary. Yeah. Really, really quite excited about that. But we'll be telling you more about that. Um Next week. Next week. So let's have a look. What questions have we got then? Kevin said this is a great help with the post cruise blues. Oh, it's great to hear. So, and Nick's here. Hi from the chart room on QM2. Oh, so Nick, this is the first cruise. QM2 has just come out of dry dock. So she's had all her. So let us know. Is she still rusty? Have they done a really good paint job? What? Let us know what changes you've noticed already if you've cruised on Queen at QM2 before. Um, is Bart Simpson still on the wall? 
Maybe they've taken him off. He was never on the wall. It was Homer. Oh, yeah, it was Homer. Ah, oh, dear. So Cruising Canucks are here. We're chatting with the Cruising Canucks later because, um, as we've mentioned on previous lives, we're on Gary Bembridge's group cruise next September. And we want to go to Canada because we had such a fantastic time um, exploring the west coast of Canada that we want to explore some of the east coast of Canada. And the Cruising Canucks have said that they're going to meet us up beforehand and show us the wild world of East Canada. So we're going to have a chat later about um, when we should fly in, etc. So that's very exciting. So lovely to see you, guys. Um, <clears throat> Nick Boobity, is Paulie Mong still feeling festive after you made him put the tree up early? Can you not tell me? Ah, I brought him a hat too. Go on, Paulie. Put it on. No, I've done yeah, no. Go on. I brought him a hat too. <laughs> so... No. So anyway, for those, it is very early, but for those that you watched our Azamara um, quest series, I, that's it. <laughs> ah, so I got really homesick over Christmas and New Year. <laughs> that's enough now. So, um, yeah, I got really homesick and I never thought I did because when my dad passed away, me and my sister decided that we would do different things because we'd always have family Christmases together. And uh, without dad, we thought, oh, well, let's try something different. And I went to Australia and my sister did something different and didn't meet up with all the family like she with her kids and stuff because they were all doing other stuff. And we both um, chatted afterwards and I said, how was your Christmas? She said, it was crap. I said, well, ours was good because we were on a cruise, but I got so homesick. So this year I'm, I'm getting really sort of, I've never been big into Christmas. Um, I, I enjoy Christmas, but I've never gone sort of tree mad, but I've taught Pauline to get a nice big tree. And because we're away next week and we've got friends staying in our house because they're in the middle of moving out, I wanted to put the tree up and make it all look sparkly and lovely. But we put the tree up last night. I managed to get Paul into a sort of um, semi mood. We had some Christmas music on the TV and I shared it on our Patreon, um, to start, well, on our Discord, isn't it, which is part of Patreon, where, like I say, if you join for a pound a week, then you get all those behind the scenes sort of things. Um, but yeah, and I even bought a skirt for a Christmas tree. Paul's like, I oh my God. Even, I couldn't even believe it. I'm 59 years of age. Uh, we're out shopping. What are you looking for, mate? We're looking for a skirt for the Christmas tree. And I just thought, well, if you don't want to tell me what you're doing, just, just don't tell me. I said, don't come out with that rubbish. A skirt for the Christmas tree. Yes, and it's lovely. It was only a fiver from B&M. It's making up any old <laughs> I love B&M. Let's know if you love B&M. For those in the UK, it's like, um, well, those not in the UK, B&M is a bit like, um, I guess, a Walmart sort of thing. It's got all sorts in there, hasn't it? All sorts um, of tat. Yes, but I like tat. <laughs> if you don't know what tat is, that's... Cheap rubbish. cheap rubbish. Well, it's not rubbish. It's like you actually. would buy in the in the dollar store and places like that, I believe. No, I think it's a bit better than that, Paulie. Is it? Paul hates going there, don't you? No, I, I don't mind it really. It's just um what but being they a, do bird seed really cheap I mean, and fat balls. We and like they, fat and balls, they do don't the we? Best curry sauce mix. They do. Anyway, we yeah. digress. God almighty, we don't have uh, some rubbish, don't we? We do. So Claire's here. So evening, lovely. It's back from two and hours. So always lovely to see you here. We were chatting to Claire earlier because she's coming to our meetup in London. So that'd be awesome. And Emma's just saying, finally made a live, booked Miranda Voyager Caribbean Cruise for February 23rd because of your videos. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome, Anna, Emma. And going back to Claire, what I thought was lovely is she's coming to meet us and she said that she's buying all the beer. <laughs> I mean, how nice. Uh, she did not. <laughs> Tony remains asking a suggestion for place to eat in Southampton. We're here on time this week. One of the places that we go back to <coughs> is Regatta. So if you like Spanish tapas, right on the front by the Isle of Wight ferry port. <coughs> oh, right me. on the front by the Isle of Wight ferry mm. port, um, there's a place called Regatta. Um, and I'd recommend booking. Yeah. It's uh, Spanish tapas. And it's fabulous. Yeah. If you want something a bit more spicy, if you go up to the High Street in Southampton, there's a place called Coriander. Yes. Which By is the a, Big Anchor. Which is um, an Indian restaurant. Again, is very popular, and you, I would recommend booking it. But yeah. also, we've been there two or three times, and as we have regarded the tapas place and every time has been consistently it's been good. excellent. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, so... Um... And I haven't been there yet, but Andrea of uh, the Magic of Ian Shaw 
Sean yeah. Fain, who I think, I don't know, she, she's not in, in the chat tonight. I don't I haven't think, seen her haven't yet. Seen her yet. But she's also told me of a place in Southampton, which we haven't been to yet, which specialises in pies. Now, I know Ken's ears would have pricked straight up when I said pies, because he had a massive pie for his lunch today. And it's called Pie Caramba, I believe. Yes. And Andrea said, that's excellent. We haven't done it yet, but I definitely will be doing it. Um, a post haste, because I love the pie. Yeah. So that's three good places we can um, I give you a tip about. Yeah, Another exactly. place we went to, and I can't remember, what, where was the place you went to with Jamie? We've been to Tycum a few times, which um, yeah. and it's been a bit mixed. Um, Ty, what I would say about Thai Cum, which busy. is in West Keys, it, the food in there is very, very good, but I would go on a lunchtime. What happened with Thai Cum is when we had lockdown, they started specialising on delivery, and obviously they were getting loads of business. So when you go in the evening, there's also loads of food being prepared for delivery, and we found that when we've gone in the evenings, since the lockdown, you tend to be waiting about a lot. But if you go on a lunchtime, because obviously there's not any delivering going on at lunchtime, the service is fast. The food's always excellent regardless what time you go. But I if you were going to go there, I'd, I'd edge more towards lunch than dinner. Yeah. And what was the other place we went to where it was more – we went there with Jamie, and I can't remember what it was called. And it was more sort of Turkishy. Kebab. Yeah, there's a Turkish restaurant on High Street, and I can't remember what it's called. called. But that was good. That was good as that well. Was good, yeah. yeah. So shreds and threads here. So hi all. Uh, Paul's asking, have you ever been to Agadir, Morocco? We'll be there next week. Any must dos? No, we haven't. Sorry, Paul. But if anyone in the comments has, then please let Paul know. Um... So that was so close to being. Have we ever been to Agadir? Agadir, do do push the purple up the tree. <laughs> Is it? No. Pineapple <laughs> up a tree. Kevin loves Yorkshire pudding. I don't even think what you were saying was even English, was it? Just stringing random. Uh, Hawks travel saying, uh, Jim and Dwayne, anyone else get a PSC didn't win a wave award? Still the blocks out there. Sorry, we love others, just not as much. Oh, thank you so much, Jim and Dwayne. Um, do you know what? It's uh, we were up with eight very, very huge. Well, do you know, we, we feel very humbled that we we're in the top eight of the UK bloggers, and there's some really, really um, tremendous vloggers there. Yeah. So to be in their and company, some rubbish ones as well. To be no, fair. there <laughs> isn't. Um, and Cru for those who don't know, Cruz maybe one, and she's got a fantastic website and a huge email. Um, you know, with support. So she's run it for the two years running. So, uh, you know, good, good on uh, Jenny. So, but yeah, so we were, um, we weren't expecting to win, so we weren't disappointed at all, were we? Because no. we just think, um, but I would definitely like to go one year to the but, but not when it's 405 yeah. pounds plus VAT. Well, maybe next year, maybe, maybe. Well, who knows if we, if we, if you guys vote for us again next year, um, then who knows, dear? Maybe it's third time lucky, but thank you guys, that's really, really kind. Um, well, maybe we'll have, um, we'll do a just giving page to try and raise the ticket money for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Morris is saying, um, Monday we think the excursion should be available. I give two a ring, exactly that. So, um, Andrew's saying she loves Werther's. Try adding it to vodka gin infused with cutlery. It's delicious. Oh, now oh, that's wow. very similar to I used to make um, Skittles vodka. And the first time I made it, because I was too lazy to split all the Colours. Colours up. I just wanged them all in there. And it just looked like um it looked like some water that had been um festering in the bottom of a welly boot. That was the colour of the, the vodka. But then somebody told me the air air of my ways and say, No, you only use all the ones of the same colour, and then it's got a nice colour to it, and it's got a nice taste to it. So yeah, so I'd imagine that's a bit sort of skittle. And we made Scotch bonnet vodka one year, wouldn't it? And oh my god, that was crazy and bad. That could make someone mm. really ill, wouldn't it? That was you and my son's stupid well, me idea and trying to kill me. I, I think they obviously must have checked <laughs> my will and thought, yeah. We're going to be doing all right at this. Have a drink of that, Dad. Go on, Daddy. Go on. <laughs> Love in the Parks is here. So lovely to see you. Have you any of the Black Friday deals taken fancy? Do you know, because we're actually sort of booked up now, um, obviously December, and then we're home January, but then we've got an uh, epic, this is going to be epic, um, trip to Asia, a seven-week epic trip. Um, and then we've got Queen Anne, seven weeks. Can you imagine? Woo! 
um, then we we haven't really got the um, capacity to take any fancy of the Black Friday deals. But I was and looking Carol at... means the mental capacity, not the not the availability. Is that what you meant, availability? Yes. <laughs> But there are some, I've seen one for our, well, one that I was going to put on our Facebook, um, Dan pointed it, an Arcadia cruise. It was crazy, man, about £42 a night. So um, so there are bargains to be had, but we just haven't got the, the capacity to do it. The availability. Anyway. Jill's here, so hi, guys. <clears throat> Made it, been catching up on your videos, thoroughly enjoying them. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I just say at this point, before um, this live broadcast started, Carol said to me, oh, mate, I've got quite a tickly throat tonight, so if you could do most of the talking, I'd be grateful. So 25 minutes and 17 seconds in, she hasn't shut up. I'm keeping my um, throat lubricated <clears throat> with coffee and water. Warren's here from a, a cool 67 in San Antonio. Oh, that sounds lovely, though, 67, it does. isn't it? Grace is here, lovely see Grace. And Sherry says she loves massages too. Yes, um, it's definitely a treat. So let's see what's the next question. What have we got? Joe Echoes and ah, oh, nice to see you, Joe. Joe's one of our new patrons. So thank you for joining us on here too. Do you follow a set budget when booking a cruise like others do? A hundred pound perfect for an inside, um, or do you have a different tactic? We haven't. Let's be honest about stuff. We don't um, set ourselves. Uh, a limit as in we don't want to sound like we're jp rockefeller or nothing <laughs> but we just decide are we interested in that cruise yes we are how much is it oh that's a bit too expensive let's look at something else or well now that sounds okay yeah but we don't think we don't say we've got it we've got to get a bargain for under 100 pen no. per person per night and the more that we cruise the more our cruises are sort of itinerary driven um so it depends on if it's going to tick all the boxes for us yeah but we don't want to go crazy and book something um well sometimes we do go so, crazy yeah, but, it's, it's, but for special occasions like with the neptune suites yeah. or alaska um but and things with... like is it um like an inaugural cruise like we're doing the queen Anne, um whatever it is we did the voyager the inaugural cruise stuff like that you'll always pay more money for so you've got to weigh out, do I want to pay more money or do I wait a month and the price will come down a bit? So it's yeah. no, so we so, so we haven't got any tactics no, really. There's no tactics at all. No, we just um we're just a couple of bumbling buffoons. <laughs> John just said to be good wave boards. Hopefully you heard our answer to that. Um and Grace says you in Southampton for the meetup. Yes, that'll be fun bless. Ron said, I always fancy, enjoy seeing you both reacting to the food. Couldn't believe a commenter said, just show the food, don't show us you eating it. Please don't change this. It's fantastic seeing your excitement. We'll always get people that would like think like elements of our videos and some that don't. Um, you know, but we like to the food's <sighs> important. People want to know what, what the food is on a cruise, because it's a big thing, isn't it? Most people love food. And so, what I would um, say is if people like what we're doing, then I would encourage them to keep watching and supporting us. And if people don't like what we're doing, I would encourage them to sod off. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Kevin said the translator was hilarious. Uh, Warren said, where can you get um, Thatcher's Gold if you're in Texas? I don't know. So they're all the Americans here. Is it in your local um, supermarket? Mm, I know there's a, an American guy who came. He's on TikTok. And he's obviously come over to Britain and visited some people. And he had things like fish and chips, Chinese takeaways, and cider. And he went back over to America, and he put this TikTok on. I said, oh, my God, we went to the supermarket, and we found the cider that we tried in England. And I got very, very excited. And then when they busted out the cider, it was Strongbow, mm. which ironically is probably one of the worst ciders that you can buy in England. But because they have... Because I think in America, you I mean, there's tons of ciders, I'm sure, but the only one I'm familiar with is that Angry Orchard, which they got on um, yeah. on a few ships we've been on. But the honest answer is I don't know. But I know you can get Thatcher's Gold in Australia because I've drank it on draft. In, yeah, you did, in, in, Sydney. in Sydney. And it was delicious. Andrew's asking, what currency do you need for the Adriatic and approximately how much cash do you suggest to take with you? Luckily now... Corfu, not Corfu, uh, Croatia. Sorry, Croatia was the was one of, if yeah. not the last remaining country in the in the Adriatic or in the even throughout the Med, yeah, that had their own currency. But 
No, it's all your this is how this is how useful I am. Have you moved it? What? That many? No, it's by the thingy. The grey pouch. It's right there in the plastic bag. Um, so Euros. We don't oh, take a lot of the Croatian money. Oh. Yeah, we found some we've been having a bit of a declutter. We found some Croatian money. I put it somewhere safe. I should put it somewhere <laughs> I safe. I don't know where that is. So I can't show you, but we did actually bring some money back from Croatia. There it is, by the picture. Um <laughs> So, yeah, so euros, <coughs> we tend to take, <coughs> excuse me, if we go away, we normally change about 100 euros, but we end up don't often giving that away in tips. So that's um, the old Croatian That's uh, old Croatian Kuna. money. But when we went, we went in the August of the year before last. Yeah, and they were just changing and to euros. And at the end of the year, they were phasing it out and going to euro. So euros is all you need, and that will tide you through pretty much everywhere. Yeah. But um, most places you can pay card now, yeah. so um, just make sure you've got a card um, with you, and then you don't have to worry so much about having cash. We always like we're quite old fashioned. We always like to have some cash, but only a small amount wherever we're going. So Commodore Steve's here. So well, lovely to see you here, Commodore Steve. I guess may I mention my YouTube channel on cruise? And I've just started my cruise videos and have sixteen followers. No, yes, you, you can. No, you can't, Steve. <laughs> You're not, um, you're not mooching some free advertising off us, all right? Yeah. <laughs> no, of course you of can. Of course you can, and we love to support because we remember mm. when we dreamt of having 16 followers. Yes. So keep at it. The first 1,000 when you do your on YouTube is the hardest, um, and it's still hard now. We, we're now on to, what, 22.3 thousand, and we're so thankful for that. And it's, it's, it's a steady eddy. So um, if you are thinking of being a YouTuber, a vlogger, it's hard work. You have to keep at it every day, but the rewards are are worth it. Um, but don't, some people do grow overnight very fast, but that's rare. So, um, but if you keep at it, keep consistent um, and produce good content, then you, your channel will grow. So let's see, Kevin's saying thumbs up. Yes, please give us a thumbs up. There's 240 oh, I thought, watching. I thought that was an instruction. Um, and 106 <laughs> thumbs, so get them thumbs going. Um, oh, cruising Canucks, yeah, saying never give up jigs dinner. Oh, when we come over to Canada, then that's definitely what we need to do get a jigs dinner. And so Kevin's saying, uh, jigs dinner is salt beef with cabbage and potatoes. Oh, it was oh. doing so well till you mentioned Paul's cabbage. Not a lo I love cabbage, I can eat cabbage every day, but Paul's not. Um, ah, Mark's saying it's c comparable to uh, corned beef and cabbage, um, Newfoundland meal. You'd like that because you love corned beef. I do, yeah, mm. but I don't think it's corned beef like. I bet it might be not sliced corn, like tin no, of corned beef, no. but this mashed corned beef, isn't it? Um, Kaz has asked, Have you ever considered cruising South America and Antarctica? Yes, both, but we haven't found um, Antarctica at the moment is a bit out of our budget. We would love to do it, and we look at it all the time, and then we thought, Oh, can we justify spending that much when we can do other things first? Antarctica is on the list, but we want Hawaii and South Pacific and New Zealand first, don't we? So, um, and South America, we'd love to go to South America. So, Adrian and Angela are here. We're watching from Barnsley. Is that a good? Uh... Barnsley, yeah. Oh, Nat's here. So, Paul's been away with Alan to see Ken today, and that's uh, that is Alan's wife. So, have fun at your turkey and tits a week. We all have fun looking after Bruce. <laughs> yeah, they're looking after Paul's brother's dog, um, who's lovely little Bruce, but he's a bit. Um, so, Bruce, a lot. Let me he's find He's a bit whingy, isn't he? Yeah, Bless him. Let me find, find that picture. Let me find you a little picture of Bruce so you can all go. Oh. Uh, so, um, have you been to India? No, we haven't. Um, no plans to go um, as yet. So. Um, yeah, look at look that. At that That's Brucey. <laughs> ah, he's a cutie. Uh, but he's quite high maintenance, isn't he? He's the most high maintenance of high maintenance there is. And if his dad leaves the room for more than four mm. seconds, he's like, oh, daddy. Exactly. Angela's just saying they booked their excursion for Discovery due in March, exactly via cruise control. So definitely get that sorted, uh, Mandy. So Janet's saying hi from a very warm, sunny Spain. So hi there, Keith and Jan. Enjoy it. Simon's asking, are any river cruises planned for 2024? We're trying to plan one in our seven-week trip when we're over in Asia, and it's proven a little bit more difficult than we anticipated and um, expensive. So hopefully, um, and next year I'd like to do a Christmas markets one. So, um, But we haven't looked at that yet, have we? Yes. 
Rebecca's asking about Saga, looking at Saga Cruise for Northern Lights. It seems really expensive. Is it worth it? When you break down Saga, Rebecca, for what you get included, which is drinks, your transfer from your house um, to the cruise port, uh, the food that they offer on board, uh, then um, it can be but what quite I will, reasonable. What I will say is we haven't cruised with Saga for a couple of years. And when we did, I thought it was well worth the money, but we paid £200 per person per night. But obviously, so that's, you know, a lot of people budget on £100, but that was all drinks, all food, pick up from your door and insurance. But obviously, I don't know what they're currently charging because everybody's put their prices up. To be fair, yeah, so, but uh, Saga is good, but, yeah. Saga's quality, but Saga's fabulous. Yeah, we, we we definitely want to do another Saga cruise, don't we? Life of why not take the Bright Line train from Miami to Fort Lauderdale? Do you know when we got cases going on trains? I just find it too stressful. Um, and then like you can't see your luggage, can you? You're sat in a carriage and your luggage is at the other end, and I'm thinking, what if someone just picks it up and walks off? So I get a bit stressed when it comes to trains. So um Paul doesn't. She spends do you? the entire time. Can you see the case? Can you see the case? I do. I and if really... I dare look away for like it's like um like the weeping angels off Doctor Who. If I look away, <laughs> but it's like so I'm like that, and I just glance just glance at you know, outside the window of the train going past. It could be anything going on. You know, hanging gardens of Babylon, beautiful waterfalls, wildebeest, anything could be going on there. I'm not allowed to look at it because I have to death stare the suitcases the entire time. Yeah, so, so um, we'd rather just pay the Uber prices. And I think it was $70, wasn't it, from last so. time, which we yeah. thought, you but know we, what, uh, the irony like 50 is we, quid, £25 a head. We didn't think that was We can't too see bad. the cases when we're in a car, but you don't panic. Mate. Yeah, but they're in the boot. <laughs> Tina says, it's never too early for Christmas and trees. When's the big reveal for yours? Well, obviously our patrons and YouTube members will be seeing that first on our Discord, I'm sure, when uh, we get all the decks on there. Uh... I don't know. And Kevin said, yes, join us on Patreon. So please do. Yes, it's a fabulous community. It is. And you get, you get free access to Discord. And the chats in the Discord are lovely. They are. We have so much fun. Cruiser Canucks say they've got polka dots on there. Um, they've got a Christmas skirt. See? We've got a reindeer, a snowman, and Father Christmas on ours. Uh, everyone's not, saying they love B&M. Look, see? B&M. B&M. Everyone's a B&M fan. I'm not disputing the... Um, Cat says you go to B&M with one item and leave with seven shopping bags. You do. Yeah, but uh, not what you went in there for. No, an exciting news. Our shop is nearly ready on our website. We talked to our shop lady, as I call her, Nicola, and uh, she's just finalising all the bits and the size charts and stuff. So that's exciting. Isn't very, it, boys? Yes, be very soon. So um, do check out, uh, well, we'll announce it on our social media uh, when it's ready and raring to go. So, yeah, so everyone's loving BM. Sue's here from uh, Queens and Australia. It's 5, 10 a.m. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much for joining. No plans of going on a cruise anytime soon. However, I love following you on your travels and listening to your hilarious banter, Sue. Well, thank you, Sue. That's much appreciated. Well, it's not because Sue put that on her about half an hour ago. Like 20 to 6. Oh, right? shush, mate. I want to make sure we chat with everyone. What, do you want me to skip down and say after half an hour? Right, thanks for everyone coming. I We're think off now. You should go on there. You should scroll straight to the bottom. We say thanks for watching. See you next week. <laughs> and just got a skirt for a Christmas tree for years. Oh, I didn't even know they existed. And Don said he wants that. She wants that skirt too. Yeah, Kevin said we Ubered from the Port of Miami to a hotel at the beach in Fort Lauderdale for seventy eight dollars, worth the extra cost for the convenience. Exactly. Thank you, Kevin. Because we so... we got properly properly ripped off by a yellow cab, and yeah, we he, did. he ripped us off, and he quite blatantly ripped mm. us off. And then had the cheek to ask for a tip. We were going along, and he started playing with the meter, and then all of a sudden it went up by a hundred dollars. And it was like, oh, I don't know how that happened. And then he's like, um, oh, you said you were paying cash. Well, yeah, we was paying cash, mate, because we thought it was going to be about eighty dollars, but now it's two hundred and twelve dollars. We haven't got that much cash, so we're going to pay on a card. Oh, well, are you going to give me a tip? 
yeah, I got a tip for you, mate. Don't rip us off. Mm. And he had no tip, but it cost us 200. Yeah. I think it was 200. We knew someone was going on. He was fiddling with the meter. I looked at like, the boys and yeah. said, I whispered, something's going on here. But you're in the cab, aren't you? And it was it our spo- first time. But it spoils it for other cab drivers. For other cab drivers but I feel safe with Uber because, because from you the air- know what you're paying. But from the airport to our hotel when we first landed in Miami, we had a lovely yellow taxi driver bloke, wasn't he? He was as good as gold. And yes, he was. And in Las Vegas, yeah. it was easy because you yeah. just joined the line of the yellow cabs and it's all set. Yeah, it's all prices. set price, but he probably so ripped feel, us Yeah. Off. But anyway, you live and learn, don't you? Yeah. Claire says, um, Steve's a bit worried now. He says, we are the beers. Not that we're buying all the beers. Yeah, because it's a surname. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Paul's only joking. Rose said she was going to be in M with things that I never knew I needed. Exactly that. And Danny's saying, further to the live chat with your travel agent, the importance of the job they do for coming back to back on Asimar onward November 30th. You deal with all the IT issues on our behalf. Yeah, they've had issues with the Asimar um, well, website. As our friend Bob, who's coming on the cruise with us, he said that I don't think I'm talking out of term when I say this. Asimar has got the worst website on the planet when it's it comes very, to trying to sort stuff yeah, out. Yeah, it's new, isn't it? And yeah. they've had awful and issues. It's rubbish. But yes, we'll be catching up with Danny on the 30th of November. So Emma Cruz here. Ah, oh, hey, cutie pies. She's obviously talking to me. <laughs> ah, you said pie as soon as I said pie. Coincidence. We're so in tune, look, so in tune. And uh, Grace is saying, uh, pie carumba is amazing, but so small. Defo book. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Grace. I appreciate that. And Kevin's like, oop, I. Uh, yeah, Nick's off to Kenya working, so he's going to miss them in December while you're away. Will you have any so, Wi Fi um, in Kenya, Nick? I don't, I I don't sounds know. like a feeble excuse to me. First people from Australia watching, I don't see why Kenya should be a stumbling block. Sherry says she's have a great transfer of does exist between ports and airports. Oh, that's interesting, the Sherry. Let's know um, about that in Discord because that'd be interesting to see how you do it. Grace says she's lived in Southampton all her life, never been to La, uh, La Regatta or Tycoon. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Well, La Grata, No, t- Tycoon is as well. Yeah, it is, but, but it's, it's, just... quite, it's more expensive now, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but Thai food... Thai food in England is always expensive. But if it's good Thai food, you don't mind paying the money. And it is good food there. But like I said, it was just the last time we went on the evening, they were so busy. Yeah. Even so the restaurant was good. busy-ish, but they were just... Well, and we were with Tony and Tina when they yeah. are good friends. And Tina's uh, food came is cold. Yeah. So, but that was a while back. So yeah. things change, don't they? Emma Cruz say, "Aga do do do, push pineapple, shake the tree." Aga do do, you missed a do do off, Emma. It's three do do's: push pineapple, grind coffee. Ah, and Dave saying, "Higgity pies are good, but not cheap." No, they are. Yeah, they're very mm. expensive. Jerry saying, "Apologies for being late." You're that's all right, Jerry. We'll right. let you off on this one occasion. And Emma's still singing, I can do to the left, to the right, jumping down onto the knees, coming down every night, sing with a hula melody. <laughs> ah. Well, hopefully, when we uh, when we meet up with you, Emma, we'll try and find some hip and trendy club that plays that sort of music, and yes. you can show us the moves. Yes, we're catching up with Emma in the in the new year, which will be lovely. Yeah. So, um, congrats from Louisiana, booking our two thousand twenty four and two thousand twenty five Europe cruise. With, with celebrity, they are out today. Yes, celebrity. Well, I was talking to Dan, as I'm always talking to our travel agent, Dan, because Apex, um, and then I was this, it's not cheap. It was about 2,200 for um, a week's cruise to the fjords, and and that's just an inside cabin, nothing. <coughs> so, no drinks, no tips, and stuff. And I thought that's too much. Yeah, too much. I'll tell you what else is no with that, no chance. <laughs> yeah. So, let's have a look. Right. So that's going to be about a five and a half thousand pound cruise with drinks. Yeah. Inside so Lawrence, hit that thumbs up button. Yes, please. So we've got um, 260 watching now and 127 thumbs up. So yes, hit that, please. Well, I think just to put give it give some perspective. I know Carol's going to immediately thumbs up. No, just to give some perspective. So those celebrity prices that's going to be five five and a half grand with your drinks for an inside cabin i'm pretty sure that our group crews were paying three grand ish for a mini a suite mini suite with drinks with the princess plus so that's about two grand Not cheaper. Each. no 
for the pair of us. Yeah. So by so celebrity, whatever you just said, what was it? Apex. Apex. So that's gonna that's gonna cost you about five and a half grand for an inside cafe for two people with your drinks. The princess one for our group cruise, which is to go into the same place, is is nearer to three grand for the two of us, also with your drinks, also with Wi-Fi, also with your gratuitous. So I bet you by the time you factored in Wi-Fi and gratuities on that celebrity one, it'd be near six grand, so it'd be double the price. It's not 2,000 a person. You said 2,200 a person. Oh, I have to check. Maybe I'm like on Batty. <clears throat> um, that can't be right, can it? Oh, you've got me confused now. Oh, two, two, no, two. No, for so. two. Oh, she's talking. So that's why you're thinking you're, totally going, you're going off on a real tangent there. And no, I'm thinking that doesn't seem right. So, I did, so ignore all disregard that. Disregard all that I just said. Uh, <laughs> members of the jury, strike uh, that. But, so £2,300 for an inside cabin, no drinks, no gratuities, no Wi Fi. Mm. So that's still going to be probably three and a half grand. And you're still yes. in an inside cabin. It's, yes. So, so um, it wasn't as good as I thought, but I was only given <laughs> half the I was thinking, what's he going on about? Have you had any language lessons for your trip to the Far East? We've learned a bit of Thai over the years, haven't we? We yeah. can say um, Swadika, can't we? We can. And we can say um, Tola Garis Mo, which is, can we have the bill, please? Yeah, but that's Greek. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you, ah, is there what was the bill in Thai? Can you turn that hurricane off, please? Maybe I'm going to have to go and put a coat oh, on. I'm hot. Um, what's the bill in Thai? Check bin cap. That's it. That's I it. I can't believe she's like, <laughs> yeah. And we say por favor if we if if uh, please. That's that's Thai. <laughs> and bonjour. That's hello. <laughs> ah, that's it. Nick's asking, who do you think's got the best value drinks package? Celebrities getting rather expensive. They're all getting very very expensive. Celebrities getting expensive, but is it fifty quid now for the watch court plus? Princess still do the best Princess package, Plus, I think. but you still get all your drinks. Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi and tips. your gratuities for 50 bucks. Yeah. I think P&O is £45 now, their drinks package. But to be fair, they don't charge gratuities. No. But if you add Wi-Fi on top of that, yeah, it would definitely take you over the £50. Morella, because they're all inclusive. They're I think all inclusive, when you yeah. book, there's lots of um, companies and lots of actually uh, more luxurious companies like Silver Sea, Regent, all those um, that do all inclusive. Um, and we often get the comments saying, well, go on Regent, go on this, because when you break it down, it's the same price as you would be paying for a budget cruise, but it, it's not. But when you take into consideration what you get included, which is excursions and stuff. So it's looking at that product, seeing what you get, and then breaking it down if you had to pay for it individually to see if it's a good deal or yeah. not. Because on face value, you might get a bargain saying it's £42 a night, but that doesn't include anything. And when you actually tote up what you've got to pay, your gratuities, um, your drinks, and if you choose Wi-Fi or celebrity um, specialty dining, then it, then it comes to like a hundred pounds. So it's it's working that out and doing the math and working out what you like because what we like and what we spend per day is very different from someone else. Other people like Royal Caribbean. I'm sure their drinks package um, is like if you can get a on a deal, it's usually about eighty dollars a day. But they also charge eighteen dollars a day gratuity. And that's for everybody in the cabin, even though if it's only a child, they yeah. still have to pay the same. Kevin's saying Thatcher doesn't seem to be here in the US. Yeah, well. So um, Ken said he had Thatcher's at lunchtime. Ah, Diane's here from Sydney. So lovely to see you. Greetings from Royal Princess. We're sailing up the Derwent uh, to Hobart. A cooler day, but not raining. Looking forward to the day. And you'll get to your summer now, aren't you, Diana? Um, so have a fab time. So let's have a look. So Susan, uh, Susan C is, hello all, I'm on my holiday in Tenerife. It's hot, hot, hot here, enjoying the tapas. Lucky you. Mm. Um, so John's asking here, another fun packed hospital day and again tomorrow. Oh, sorry to hear that, John. Question, how did you spend your onboard credit on P&O or where did Paul spend it all in and what bar? <clears throat> we do spend our onboard credit with P&O at the bar because we don't tend to buy the drinks package. Um, but even so, if you do buy the drinks package, you can still get still use that to get it taken. Yeah, off. but we don't no, buy we the don't. drinks package no, on them. Um, um, and we have bought the the Wi Fi on PO2, haven't we? Yeah. But the last twice we've um, paid as we've gone, 
and that has cost us less than buying the drinks package and that was before the drinks package prices went up yeah tom and donna here so let me see you tom and don Good evening and kevin's just saying don't forget to hit this little thumbs up yes 147 thumbs up now but 250 watching so come on guys let's hit it um jill said while i'm watching you my man is packing for our cruise on saturday i'm going to have to repack his stuff yes. well of course yeah i mean there's no way ah! there's no way a man should be allowed to do the packing and that's not a sexist thing before anybody says oh paulie morgan we're just not capable of making sure that all the some men are, are i'm sure no there poorly but you just put it in like a I mean you just throw it in don't you like um without a care in the world that's right so there's a tip for your men a packing tip if they ask you to do the packing do a rubbish job make sure you leave like a couple of shoes out not a couple of pairs just one shoe from each pair so do that and then they'll never ask you to do it again <laughs> So it's, it's genius. Talking about growing your channel, Ken Goes Screen says we're plodding along slowly up to 3,200 subscribers, which is a great achievement, Ken, isn't it? But it just takes time, which it does. Um, we're also saying they're going to be in Miami soon, start their Panama Canal trip. So lovely. Yeah, Danny saying the importance of a travel agent. Totally agree. So. And Ken goes, sorry, sorry, Natalie Green, for all the hairs on Alan's clothes from our Dax. Yeah, you were saying that the dog was going mad. Oh, so when Kevin's saying Bruce is cool, he is. He is, he cool, is, a, he? He is a, a cutie. He's a bit of a crybaby. So Clarissa's asking, uh, evening, both looking fab, by the way. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Uh, question, how many ships are you going on next year so far? And which one are you looking forward to the most? So we have... Um, we're not supposed to tell people well, what we're doing, are we? people know we're going on Queen Anne. We've got another one booked, and then we've got Gary's crew. We've only got three booked, haven't we, for next year so far? Yeah. Gosh, that's not many, is it? Yeah. Um, thoroughly looking forward to Queen Anne is my favourite. I'm, I'm gagging at the bit to see what uh, Cunard have done with their new ship. So, but I'm also looking forward to Gary's cruise because we're going to um, a part of Canada we've never been, and we're going as far as Quebec. So that'll be awesome. And we've got another little in between that um, we're not saying about at the moment because we're given, well, because all our patrons. we're not. No, exactly. Our patrons are YouTube members have all that information first. Um, Andrew says he's on a saga ship next year. So uh, our first saga cruise, everything included. Um, most revisited ship they have saga have a huge um loyalty uh and it a is huge return right they do and it's a, it's a great product so let's have a look Catherine says that she books the seat next to the luggage right on train to london paranoid yeah see i'm terrible um and that's a good tip too isn't it Rose is saying, um, on Saga in June, 10 days for show, 5,000 for a single, that's a lot. Yeah, Solo right. travellers get such a raw deal, don't you? It's not. But not trying to be funny, if that was £5,000 for two people, that sounds too expensive. Mm. So that's five, what's that? Um, so that'd be £500 a night for two, or five, yeah, so two fifty yeah. a night. Well, when we did our Saga cruise, we did five nights. And it was a thousand pound a person, so we paid two hundred pound a yeah. night. So I suppose that's only if yeah. it was two of us, that's only fifty pound a night more. Exactly. So without much stuff's gone up, but it is a lot of dough. But to be fair, if you do it, I don't think you'd regret it. But Yvonne's saying we did our first side cruise this year. We loved it so much. We booked another one for next year. You also get Wi-Fi included. Uh, yeah, you do. So that's good. So let's have a look because um, where times are ticking, we've got so many questions here. So let's have a, a look down. Um, Shreds is talking about Uber, Miami's fixed price, $35 to South Beach. Um, we got the hop on bus to South Beach, didn't we? We did. And that was yeah, good we fun. Did. Yeah. It was. So I'd recommend that. And Dawn's saying, I uh, love watching you both. Your vlogs are brilliant, full of information. We love Saga Cruises at the Spurs Pool. Keep up the great work. From our vlog point of view, just so I should put, I've got a couple of pictures for you guys. Oh, I thought we hadn't had a banner <laughs> at any point. 
So if you haven't watched it already, make sure you check out our um, We Struck Gold. We spent the day in Skagway in Alaska, and we had such a fun, another fantastic uh, day, didn't we? We did. So make sure you watch that. And out tomorrow, uh, we head to Glacier Bay. So um, so do make sure that you are, one, subscribed to our channel, and two, um, watching our Alaska series, because I think it's been, um, oh, I'm taking it off. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. There we are, we're back. Um, it's been, it was an epic trip, wasn't it, Paul, from start to finish. So um, please do that. So let's have a look. Renato's here. So lovely to see you. Books Queen Avenue 2025. Look forward to seeing your blogs. We'll be getting those out, obviously, as soon as we can. Let's have a look. Where are we? It's jumped, hasn't it, now? No, no, yes, you're scrolling, it has. You're scrolling up, don't I? Try not to look at it. Mr. Canuck tra- takes his packing tits from Paul. <laughs> Works every time, Jerry. Uh, but men are amazing at packing the car with the luggage you packed. Yes, that's true. Um, it's like your own. You want to pack everything, and when you shut the the boot, tailgate, whatever other people around the world call it, you just don't want a suitcase handle to go through the back window because that's. Yeah. yeah, and also Emma said John is really good at packing, so it's you, Paul. No, so I think everybody else in there has agreed with me. So John <laughs> was the exception to the rule. Uh, Spencer saying that he drinks Thatcher's haze. Does that make him posh? I think it does actually. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm more working class. I just go no. <laughs> No, I'd like Thatcher's haze as well, to be fair. I just want to say thanks to the moderators as well, because there's been an annoying man trying to sell his wares. So thank you. Um, thank you for that. So, t- so poor Carol, what are you going to do in Dan's way on his cruise? You'll have no one to talk to. I know. <laughs> I know Dan's off soon. So I, was having, uh... so I was having my lovely hot stone massage today, and Sam, the girl who's doing it, she's got this lovely sort of relaxing music, almost like you could meditate to. And all clear is, bing! You should turn your phone off and put it on silent. I can hear yours upstairs. Oh. And who was it? And Sam said to me after, oh, sounds like somebody's trying to get out of you. I said, no, that would just be Dan, uh, <laughs> uh, Carol talking to her other husband, Dan, about cruising. Uh, and I never said the first do's with I could do. Of course it is. I was um, undercounting. Uh, let's have a look. <coughs> Excuse me. What's the best shit for boring and secret dancing? Cunard. Cunard's awesome. If you love dancing, there's dancing lessons in the day. There's dancing hours um, all over, isn't there, Paulie? And dancing with a big band in the evening. So yes, it's, um, fabulous. it's fabulous. And even if you don't like taking part, it's fabulous to watch too. But if you don't like taking part and you don't like watching, it ain't quite so good. <laughs> Paul's good morning from Melbourne. Just woke up at my morning. So love to see you here, Paul. Yeah. Long time no see. Spencer's asking, have we ever lost any travel footage or thought you were recording you weren't? Yes. Um, I learned the hard way when my phone um, broke down in Cuba, didn't it? And we lost, I lost a load of content. That was when I started backing up to an external hard drive or everything off my phone and everything off my GoPro, my SD cards. I put it all to an external drive um, that then I put to another external drive when I get home and use that one as my sort of travel one so that I can work on the move. Um, yes. But the worst one ever is we were doing back-to-backs, and I don't know whether they were both out of Southampton or one was Portsmouth, one was Southampton, but we got on the cruise, and what we did... Because we, we'd done the one cruise and then we drove somewhere else and we had parking, secure parking. And Carol said, Well, what we'll do, this suitcase now, we don't need this suitcase because everything in there is now dirty. So we'll, we've still got a suitcase full of clean clothes. It was only like a, a they were both short cruises. I can't remember what cruise that was. And when we unpacked, Carol couldn't find her little, I can't see it anywhere here, but she's it's got, she's got, she's got a little case. She's got this little case here, and she keeps all her SD, SD, cards. SD cards in there. And when we unpacked, she couldn't find it, and she literally had a mouth. I there. did. It was like her whole family had been murdered <laughs> and thrown into the sea. That, that would have been less of a problem. And it got to the point, I said, right, with this situation, right, I don't know where CPS take the cars, but I'm getting off the ship now, and I'm going to go and find it. And I'm going to get, oh, well, you can't, you can't. I said, well, if I can't, I'm going to get off the ship anyway. 
because I can't have this for four days. Anyway, she was crying. It was like the absolute end of the meltdown. world. And but then I've we got off, and there actually, it was in the boot where she'd put it. So if you back up it on an external drive, I use a, a Samsung SSD and a one terabyte one, so it holds load of um, content and it works. It works well. So let's have a look. Um. Manda says she could never let Phil Packy be dressed to all the nines a week and I'd be walking around in my undies. There you go. Uh, Joe says he treats packing as a game of Tetris. Yeah. <laughs> I think I don't um, get... I, I'm the tetris stage when it's trying to get it in the car. And when my dad used to come cruising with us, we would go to Southampton and we would have mine and Carol's luggage, my dad and my sister's luggage, and my father's mobility scooter. You imagine trying to get that all into a school Paul's sister is the master oh, she, she's the at getting queen, some, yeah. something in yeah. a, um, I think because they had like a sort of a music business, didn't they, and yeah. karaoke, that getting everything in there, she can just, it's just slots where yeah. we'll be like, get, Paul will be getting his air off and stuff, but Jan's brilliant at that. So Grant's here. So lovely, Grant. Thanks, Gracia. Thank you for my laugh therapy this week. Twenty nine days until my next transatlantic crossing nice. on QM two. Lovely. Do let us know if you've noticed those going on QM two. I'm really interested to see what the changes they've done. So let's have a look. See if we've got any. Um... Joe says, as train manager, you're 100 percent right to be paranoid about luggage on a train, having to deal with big increase of luggage thieves between London and Manchester, Birmingham. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to take the. Yeah, take cheers the for risk. that, Joe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, but it's true, isn't it? I, and it's sad, isn't it? The world that we live in now, you know, I think it's just, it's I don't just even sad. want to get on a rant about it. And the trouble is, there's no punishment whatsoever. And anyway, the I don't know, don't so get I all on that. So. But I'd like to batter them. So, Millie said, question, daughter, sorry, is it a max of 250 miles? We live in Durham, so it's more than that to Southampton for us. There is a maximum... Um, but I know if it's over a certain amount, you don't get a, a you don't get a taxi, private. But you do get shared. Yeah, um, or it might be a mini bus or something like that. But I know there is a, a limit for a private car, but we don't know what it is. Millie's asking, um, Kaz is asking, sorry, uh, what's the best thing to do with Zibrugger? Try to design an excursion the chocolate in Bruges. It's called me. We did a walking tour in Bruges. Bruges is nice, yeah. And we really enjoyed it. Then we had a, uh, a lovely meal, didn't we? We did. Um, and I had some lovely um, Belgian stew. Paul went for fish and chips. And I said, I'm going to have, what was it called? The stew's got a funny name, on it? But it was absolutely delicious. So Paul chose poorly again, I didn't did. you? Yes. So let's see, because we're just over the hour now. Let's see if we've got any more questions. Um, Oh, there's Dan's here. Good evening. Sorry, I've been working, huh? Paul, have you ordered a Thatcher's advent calendar? Well, that's a good idea. We have Thatcher's and a wine. Yeah, but how big would that have to be? Because I want <laughs> at least a pint of Thatcher's uh... behind e each window. You'd need like a proper um, load bearing water hanger, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, Lewis is here. So lovely to see you, Lewis. Andy, Sue, and Lewis, who we met on yes. QM2, and we are definitely looking forward to getting a bit of sunshine. Yeah, Spence saying, bless you, those SC cars. I've been beside myself too if I lost footage. I lost my hard drive with everything in life pre 2005 on it, gutted. No backup a lot. Yeah. So let's have a look. So I think we're we're coming to the end of all the comments. So <clears throat> one thing, what did I do? Was there anything else that I wanted to say? Um, I, I'm sure there's loads that you want no. to say. No. So just give us a thumbs up. And um, after this, if you've got any uh, comments for us, please write them in the comments below the um, the video. And if you are watching after the event, after this live, thank you so much for playing catch up because we do get up to about three thousand people watching, we do. which which is which is lovely. But look at that! What's what that? that horrible Dan has just put. Dan said mine arrived today, and it's twelve windows, twelve times five hundred mil glass bottles. Let me just check how um, I wanted to put my thing up. If that's um, true, Dan, that's just mean for you to say that. Uh, so so there we are. I think that's, that's it, it isn't yes. It? So thank you all so much for joining live. We're hoping to be back with you next Thursday from Warners. Yes. Um, and then the following week, I think we're going to be live on the Wednesday, but we'll let you know. But next week, we're back here on Thursday, live from, uh, we'll be live from Herefordshire. So, um, yes. Yes. So, 
What's that? That's what you meant. Yes. Yes. Who says that? Um, you just did. No. This yes. Is a... That was from Little Britain. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks, guys, for, for joining us. It's always lovely to see all our regulars and the new people that have joined us, too. Um, like I say, make sure you give us a thumbs up, and we will see you next Thursday. Yes. You all have a nice weekend. Yes, whatever you're up to, um, have fun. So bye for now. Bye.